All right, kids. So it's all done, man. It's unbelievable. Five months of redoing everything. And it's the <laughs> everything was perfect. And I, I went to plug the cabinet in and it sounded like there was a blown speaker in my greenback cab. It wasn't. It was a loose speaker, but yeah, <clears throat> we're done. So check it out. So it's done. Everything's done. I took the glorious shower. Everybody's gone. <laughs> my wife and kids are out of town. This is so weird. This is just so weird. Look, I'm playing a Kemper with effects in it. It's just so weird. Anyway, so, right, so today is a, a full day of teaching, and then two groups of people come out t tonight, and they'll be here for tomorrow and Thursday. A producer, filmmaker, two, uh, a producer from New York, and a filmmaker from New York, and Scooter Page, the artist known as Scooter Page, the singer songwriter dancer dude he's coming out from LA so we're going to be working on a, a, a song that this producer dude in New York produced and we're going to be like tracking some drums Tarek's actually tracking drums in North Carolina and then I'm going to play guitar and probably do some I don't know we may arrange some horns and it's kind of a jazzy thing and the kid the, the, the producer who's a young guy really talented named Nico I think he's bringing out like his like laptop and his rig. I don't know if he's on Logic or Ableton or whatever. So it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a cool week. It's gonna be uh, different, really really different. I'm excited. And then basically that's it. They leave and then like we're gonna start working on songs here, and it's gonna be a part of these videos. And that's uh, yeah, that's that's where it's at. It's. it's it's weird. It's like, it's like, you know, like, I, I, it's, what does one do when they're not on the Sweetwater site three hours a day, right? You actually like learn your craft, and that's what I got to do. I got to get my head back into this. So, a couple things I want to talk about. One, uh, I want to start taking some guitar lessons. You know, uh, I, I'm a fan of Tim Pierce, and. Um, I'm also a fan of Guthrie Trap. Guthrie's been putting out some videos the last few days. Man, they're just killer. Like he's going over Hey Joe, like soloing over changes, kind of like following the chords. That's kind of, I want to get, I want to delve into that. I want to delve into, you know, I know music theory. I mean, I went to college and studied it for a year. I, you know, I know it. I know it when I'm working too. I don't, I don't think in terms of Mixolydian or Aeolian. I've been watching some videos on it. I'm just like, oh my God. And I don't necessarily want to be like that because some of these guys I noticed, not, not Guthrie or Tim, but some guys like you can hear the changes so distinctly and it's kind of, it's kind of lame. It, it, I, you know, I don't know. You just got to be careful with it. Right. Because most of my heroes didn't like no music theory. And, you know, a lot of the greatest songs were written by people that didn't read music. Didn't, you know what I mean? Like it just wasn't that. So I don't want to, I don't, I, I'm not trying to learn bebop or, you know, I don't want to become some dude that's like soloing over changes and odd time. Like, that's not me. I just want to expand my playing. So, the Guthrie Trap video is is killer. It just came out this past week and I've been watching it and I, I hit him up with a message. I'm like, man, I don't know. So, he's got a thing with Artist Works. Artist Works is a website that has a bunch of instruction instructors. I think it's Robin Ford's on there. I know Paul Gilbert's on there. Um, and, uh, and Guthrie is on there. I studied with Paul privately in the 80s. 
Um, and I'm not looking to shred so much, though. I mean, any anytime you anything you learn, anytime you watch Paul, you learn something. But I really want to get my, I really want to improve my session guitar playing, which mostly is pop and rock, alternative, a little country. But I'm not looking to go deep into any chicken picking or any of that, you know. Um, and there's a few of them. I know that there's also one called true let me see if it showed up here I, I i save these and i think it transfers over learn guitar there's true fire which i think andy wood is on which somebody had recommended and i actually took some lessons from andy wood back in the day and he's a he's a beast um Yes, I don't know all these guys. I saw him in concert, Osnoy. Like, I'm not like, looking to play like Osnoy. Like, I'm, you know, ah, I'm looking to figure out how to hold the pick. But, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to like, you know, I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to sound like that. I don't want to, yeah, I, I just, I just want to sound like a dude, a regular dude. A little more regular dude playing. That's more my thing. Um, so there's this site, um called True Fire, which has some good recommendations. There's, uh, what is this? Which one is this? There's Jam Play, which some people do True Fire and Jam Play. I think this is where you get backing tracks. I don't know, I'm kind of new to this world. Um, there's also Guitar Tricks is another one. I don't. I don't know. The word tricks just scares me. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, some people said it was really good, though. Um, Justin Guitar. I, I've seen some of his videos. I actually had some of his videos that I was trying to do, go through with my son to help him. Um, and uh, there's uh, Fender Play. And then there's, there's the... Uh, so this is the other thing, artist, artist works is it called? Works. Let me see. Let me see if I've got this. Artist works. This one's been around for a while. Um, this one has, you know, this one has like Paul Gilbert and, which I mean Paul Gilbert's just a beast. But I'm not. That's the thing. I'm not really looking to do that thing. Uh, instructors, yeah. This is the one that Guthrie is on. What the heck is... Why am I struggling here? Thank you. Yeah, there's Paul. Um, the only thing is, it says on here, like, it says Guthrie Trap. It's like electric country guitar. Kind of, you know, I, I don't... I, I, you know, I don't really want to learn... A, like, I mean, some country guitar is cool, but that's not really my thing. You know, I don't know, though. The, the thing he's he's been teaching, some of the stuff is like soloing over changes with also like using the caged system which i really want to get into this and i'm you know i mean i'm i understand and i use it but it's never been something that's been dominant in my mind right so you know like... i mean i get it but that i don't really th i don't think so much is like that when i'm in a key i kind of know where i'm going and everything but i think that's what I want from this a little bit is I, I want to like stop like I'm in a key I know where I'm going like I kind of want to expand right you know it's like I got a cool toolbox it's working I've been making a living playing guitar for 30 years it's not broken it's just I want to get to the next level and also there is a video from like a year or two ago of Guthrie Trap at Tim Pierce's studio and they're jamming <laughs> And some other dude, Bill something, or I don't know who else, the other guy. But, oh man, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> There's the artist. Here, artist works. Um, let's add bookmark. No. See, I, uh, Kemper Ox. Like, every time I'm learning something, I put it up here. And then there's Tim Pierce. And his engineer was my engineer for years. His engineer was was my engineer, Greg. 
Yeah, contact sessions, master class, and then there's Tim, which, you know, who doesn't love Tim Pierce? Like the nicest guy in the world. All oh, these pop ups, though. Good lord. Anyway, so I get it. That's how we do it, right? This is how we do it. So, anyway, I guess what I'm doing is I'm putting this out there. Uh, like, what has anybody done any of this stuff, man? Like, or, and I mean, advanced, like, advanced players, not like beginners. Like, you know. You talk to a lot of people and you're like, they're like, oh, dude, you already know how to play. You don't need that. It's like, well, that's that's not how I look at it because I love studying. I've been studying mixing. I st still study voice. Um, you know, I mean, I've been a master vocal coach for decades, right? I mean, big time coach, big, big, big client coach. I still study, man. I, I, I just think it's cool, man. And Tim still studies. You know, you see him whenever he gets anybody on the show. He's always like, "What is that? How are you doing? Why are you doing that? What's that? What? What? Oh, what do you think? You know, he wants to know. I mean, I think it's important. So, and I mean, obviously, his career is in a different place than my career, and he still wants to learn. So, I think that's cool. So, anyway, thoughts on that? Does anybody have any thoughts on? Uh, look at. Grandpa, not Grandpa, it's like Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim! He's like the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> yeah, my, my, uh, my, my, the guy that worked at my studio for about 10 years, who was kind of my mentor, he was like maybe around 2005, 2006, he started saying, Yeah, I've been, you know, freelancing over at this dude Tim Pierce's studio. I'm like, oh, yeah, who's that? You know, I, I didn't really, I wasn't hip to all that. I was more of a rock guy. He's like, yeah, he's this big session guy. And and he, went, he, he started talking about his whole setup. So in certain ways, the way this is set up is similar to the way Tim's is set up because, because his set, the, the Tim's engineer, Greg, was my engineer and was my, was my best buddy and, you know, we were, we just, you know, yeah, we were, we were, we were inseparable for a few years there. So, yeah. This is Guido's orange profile on, uh, on the, on the rig manager. But it's, yeah, this whole soloing over changes, right? Like, th when I think of that, I think of like Steve Lukather and stuff, right? That's why I want to get into this because I don't really think like this. Playing the actual riffs is not the problem. I can play just about anything these dudes play. I can play if I sat with it a little bit. It's just I don't think like that. Like I would think. Like I don't know. I would think more in boxes, and I want to expand my the way I think about it. That's what I want to do. I want to like get into all this. All right. The other thing we're doing is we're starting to build libraries. We have a new page on the website. Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim. 
I've hit him up a couple times. He's never hit me back. Either I'm not important, or he's really busy, or it's a combination of the two. Music licensing. So for years, I've dabbled in this, and I never put my heart into it. And I've, I've had a number of placements, uh, you know, film placements, commercial placements, television placements. But, uh, uh, but I want to get into this. So we're going to start building libraries. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to include some of my friends in this, right? So if somebody I know is good at something, let's say, let's make a library of 10 or 12 cues of, you know, 80s new wave or, you know, metal or, you know, like Rob, me and Rob are going to work on like a kind of a, an Americana with a little touch of like bluegrass in it. Um, and what I want to do is put together playlists of like, you know, 10 to 12 cues, one to two minutes each. Um, no, no vocals probably on most all this. It would just be instrumental. Um, and that's the other reason too. I want to like start studying guitar. I think it'll get my mind moving because my mind is very, it's not in like, music mode so much it's been more in administrative learning you know studying you know how to learn omnisphere and you know kempers and you know whatever right you know uh programming drums and mixing and you know integrating all these like ssl plugins into my hybrid rig with you name it and then just trying to get it all to work, right? Guffy Chap does these riffs, man. I <laughs> He's like, it's within this, like, this this form, this kind of, I guess, C form, or I don't know, or G. G. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's doing the, the, the hybrid, you know. I don't know. I can't, <laughs> I, I can't do it. I, uh, I'm not even consumed with trying to learn how to do it. It's just cool to watch him do it because he's so good at it. He's got a great way of playing. He, his hands, like, and I see, because I had my, my Les Paul here when I first sat down, and I started trying to do some of this stuff, and it was cool, but I was like, I could see where, like, you'd really want a nice playing. Like, I realized, oh, that's why these guys are, like, most of them are playing, like, Sirs and Tom Andersons, and, you know, if they've got a, if they've got a Telecaster, it's probably really super set up, because to play like that, you don't want to be fighting too much. Most of those guys are playing, yeah, like Paula Reed Smith, Sirs, and I always make fun of those guitars. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's time to stop being so close-minded, Mr. Lugo. thing is like it, it'll be good for me to start studying again because it'll get the juices flowing you know creativity because I'm the kind of person as soon as like if, if anybody's like a lot of times I back engineer songs singers will come in with like lyrics and kind of pseudo pseudo melodies and as soon as they start going as soon as they sing I hear music it's so weird and as soon as as I hear music I hear melody 
like instantly. It's just there's not even like a division. Like it's just right there. So I think I'll take to it like a fish to water. It's in the water. That's what the lady, the New York lady, says uh, about. They ask why the pizza in New York is on a food, old food paradise. Why the pizza in New York is better than anywhere else? She says it's the water. It's in the water. <laughs> I'm from New York. That's all anybody ever said. Yeah, it's in the water. It's like there's uh, there's minerals in the water. It's the New York water. When, we, when everybody moved down to Florida and they opened up the pizzerias, they were importing the water from Brooklyn. You need that Brooklyn water. I gotta get my fingers like back open. Uh, watching Guthrie is like, wow, like his hands are just like the way they move. It's like, oh, damn. It's just the way it sits on there. Andy Wood is like that too. When he, when he plays, it's like, damn. It's just open, you know, and loose and relaxed. It's almost like I would pick one guitar and that would be my practice guitar and really like it could be this because this has just been had a partial like a fret dress or fret leveling and it's really playing nice. Plus, I'm in Nashville. You gotta play a telly. It's see, when you get to the Welcome Center at the Nash at the, the Tennessee State Line, you're obligated to buy a Telecaster and a pin that says "Hitting the Tootsies." Yeehaw! Anyway, so if you guys have any ideas on best places to study music. Guitar sites. I don't know. Maybe do some privates with Guthrie. I'll, I'll have to talk. I chatted with him a little bit the other day. Um, maybe the Tim Pierce. Maybe Artist Works. Maybe that True Fire. Maybe Andy Wood. Maybe I'll give Andy a call. I don't know. But there you go. Um, I'm stoked. I love it. I, I love the Kemper. I love the can and the ox is working out perfect. I really just if if all I use the ox for is my AC30, it's paid for itself ten times over. I, I don't know if I'd ever want to use it with my high gain stuff. It sounds cool. My cabs kill it. You guys saw the last video. Since then, we've done more testing and more recording. I, it's, to me, it's like not even. It's to me. <clears throat> It's not comparison. There's no comparison. Um, I got the cabs just dialed in. And and now we've got this here. You know what I'll do? I'll shoot a little video and I'll, I'll superimpose it. Check it out. <clears throat> so here's the rig with the ox, right? <clears throat> You're looking at me filming me. Right, the Kemper, the 8200, the Stressors, all the guitar stuff. Then you come in here, it's all the guitars, right, in a row, and then the two cabs. And I've got uh, greenbacks here, vintage 30s, and the noise in the greenbacks was it was loose, I fixed it. Um, and this, and, and when I tell you that this is symbolic of where I need to move towards as far as not hesitating, not being lazy. I've been wanting to do this for six years and I haven't done it. And you know what? It took a couple of hours. It took me a couple of hours to get all the wood, bring it home, painted it black. And then my, my neighbor came over and installed it and it's beautiful. It's perfect.
I mean, it is on there. He's like a he's a he's like a an electrical engineer, or you know, he's an engineer for a living. So he he brought over his ultimate set of tools, man. And that's it. I'm gonna sell the orange. I love the orange. There's just no room for the orange. So the orange is gonna go. Um, I I tried putting it over there. It just it's not happening. So yeah. So like I said, so I want to figure out some lesson things. And um, I got a couple days with people here, and then we're gonna pick. A, we're gonna pick. We're gonna start writing cues. So if anybody out there is good at this stuff and wants to do a library with us over here, or you know, because I've got I've got people that you know we can send this stuff to. I just need to do it, and that's it. What do you think of that? Me filming me while I'm filming me. Me filming me while I'm filming me. Me filming me while I'm filming me. I'm stoked. The whole family is in North Carolina. This is insane. I'm alone. How weird is this? Like and subscribe. Shut up, shutting up.